What's well, good, man? So, we got one crazy goat. Unicorn there you go. We jump over this. So I'm thinking about putting a long piece of wood across here. Let's see. Look at this guy. I got his trust. So, even though I'm about to grab him, he not running from me right now. Oh. Gotcha, boy. This should stop him because he basically scales it, but it pulls it up and make it straight. And it also got a little something extra at the top. So I don't think he'll be able to get over that. We'll see though. So that means the tortoise and turtles will get to come outside. Looking forward to that, of course. That's so I'm thinking about putting them somewhere along here because there's still a lot of grass. But even if I just put them somewhere behind the dog area, I just hate how shady this is. And I probably just end up getting up there and post off cutting the trees down because this would be perfect area for them for the red foots and for the sun but now i got a tank up in this dog area and i'm thinking about just giving them something right off the back of it and then once they finish that i'll move them somewhere else over here about the highest part of the grass it's a little poop back here from the horse and donkey <laughs> Got my boy Tank in here. Back there chilling. So, yeah. I'm gonna set them up something totally separate. It's gonna be a real big square that could be turned into a greenhouse, but for now, let me see where I'm gonna put them. Cause you still gotta experiment with different stuff. So I'll probably put them somewhere under that tree. Get let them eat that grass up and then go from there. Alright, oh. So I'm sticking to a list. Next up, I was gonna do the tortoise, but I'm gonna clean up some of this barn wood first. I just did the dog dog nail. Oh, All right, so I had the goats up in here. More the dog area. The baby goat squeezed out. But time to put these things up. Then I'm gonna go find Tank. And we can put him up too. Uh, I moved Winston. And Mama, as y'all can see, moved them both onto new grass. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's good, YouTube? I was doing my hair. Just doing some lazy two-strand twists with him. What up, big girl? Say what up to YouTube, folks. Look at how calm she didn't get more comfortable with me. I told y'all at first this was Anissa's horse. This is my horse now. And I love this horse. She don't walk off on me when I'm rubbing her no more. She's pretty dirty. <laughs> but, man. I ain't gonna ride her. She was rode a whole life by fat people, so I ain't riding her. I'm heavy as hell, too. I'm 6'2", um, at least 170. That's what I weighed um, last time I got weighed at the doctor's about a year or two ago, so she way too heavy for me. I mean, I'm way too heavy for her to ride her, so till we get another horse when we get more land, I won't be riding no horse, but I ain't tripping on that. Uh, it's cool to have a horse in general, but this battery is corroded like around that. So I'm just hope 
That's why it's not nice turning. And it also might be because he had his speakers and stuff that got before us connected to all of that. So probably take this one off too. I'm gonna see when I take it off. Does it affect the radio or anything? So I think it was just his speaker box and that could just be draining energy. But yeah, man, let me show y'all what it sound like. Start. So, uh, try to drop it after I clean off the battery and I get up with y'all once I uh, they turn it to our neighbor property for sale. So, got people up here coming. Look at this shit. Hopefully, somebody back. Uh, I'm so crazy over there. But, yeah, I'm gonna clean it off. Then let y'all know. I'm trying to take things off. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get it started first, then I can play with all the other stuff. Probably should have been disconnected this blue wire, cause there wasn't no point of it. Anyway, so it's a little rusty, but we're gonna try this if this don't work. Let try, actually, let me just grab it. Oh, yeah. Let me see This boy, what's up? Damn, I'm gonna have to get in here for this boy's food. Cause it's plate all the way up, splashing me with mud. Play all the way in the middle. I gotta go get it. All the crazy ghosts following me. Sir. Now I'm gonna feed the big dinosaur Velociraptors. <sighs> oh man. Look at it, it's crazy. And then here come these big Can y'all believe when we first got these boys? Ah! These two, they were super tiny. And even Stanley, he huge now. It's crazy. Oh, look at how green this is. Oh, oh. Oh, I'll be running too slow. I'll be running too slow. Oh, they too fast. Look at that. Oh, he ran straight past. Oh. Man, can't believe how big. Look at this is crazy. And this is even more crazy. All green. Super high. Gonna be good food for some animals real soon. Yo, <laughs> so I'm on a walk, and I'm looking down at the grass like I usually do. What in the hell has been out here killing shit like this? All right, y'all, so just a few days ago, this exact spot been growing up so, so much. This is where I had picked up all that barbed wire. I find the video of it too. All of this. So imagine it would have been all buried under there that fast. You look at how fast it grew up. And nature don't wait on nothing. So it would have been a whole nother year buried and we wouldn't have knew. It would keep getting buried more and more till eventually we won't be able to see it. That's not good for the earth. But look at this. We pulled a horse and the donkey up and literally got lush green a garden of wild plants literally and this isn't the cut this is just the start let me just show y'all so once you come off the main field you can go that way but you can't no more and then you can barely come this way and that's still some fencing in there which connects to the other side if you go all the way down you can see these trees block it and then it's like a whole big thing. It's like a bunch of trees on the other side of that. But yeah. And all of this going up under here. 
a giant ant hill. Super grown up back here. The horse and donkey had made nice paths through here. And now, pretty cool. Eventually yeah. make this whole area, since we're on the hill going down, an enclosure. It'd be real cool. But looking up on the hill, and you come off the pathway, and all of that'll be a part of it. Put some porcupines in there, African crested porcupines. What about all of that? It's like this circle. It's gonna be real cool. But yeah, yeah, all of this thing grew up. Look at this. Nice field shelter. And so, yeah, man, working with staying small and perfecting everything at a small level. Everything just look good. Look at this. Man, man, shit is crazy. Look at how green it is. <laughs> and so, and purple. Green and purple look real good. So, man, you walk over here, and the bushes then got taller than me with them. Literally, it's crazy. Look at this. Look at that. Crazy. The rain will do it. And then like come back here, it's pretty cool. And all of this thing even growing up. So I know this pathway back here is gonna be growing up. And yes, sir. All of these are thorns, man. Man, these ain't thorns. Take a lot to get back here. It's really cool back here. So this is why I can't wait to get the fence, cause boy, boy, this would be a really cool area to just come and chill. Nothing around me, but giant, giant plants. Maybe use the fence part right here as like a board to draw on, and this would just be a chill area. But like I was saying, all the way down there, it's like where those trees stop at. We were all the way back. I can yeah. understand that. So, man, this place is getting crazy. Green everywhere. We've been keeping the... Ah! We've been keeping the horse and donkey up by the house so that all of this can grow. And now y'all see why. It's grow for about three more weeks. And they mow the lawn up there for about three more weeks. And then they can come back in the pasture for another full year. Really cool how fast this stuff grows up. And man, let me show y'all over here. So behind these bushes, we'll walk around. I'm gonna set up a cabin. So we're gonna be starting that soon. And I'm thinking it'll be right there. It's gonna be real cool. Cause we moved down here and at first we was in the tent, but then it got freezing cold. So we had to move into the reptile house, but it's about time to move out of there now. So we still gonna be camping, but in a nicer way, we you know, uh, set up a cabin and set the tent up in there till we can get it insulated. Whew, a lot of walking, boy. Yeah, we'll walk up here, get to y'all, we get to Emu Hill. All right, and then second to last, this area right here, we're gonna be bringing pallets across and expanding Emu Hill over here. So that's gonna be real cool. And then all the way up there, let me show y'all how to fix those. This is what Emu Hill is looking like right now. Real cool. I'm hoping plants grow up all the way on the pallets like it's doing over there. That'll be real cool going all the way down. So I just walked down there and looked at it better. And that was one of my fucking chickens, man. Imagine if that was the little black one that be following me around, you know, so I think it's only one thing we can do, man. 
I can't find one of my ducks either. But I'm gonna go check the nest because the duck does have a nest that she's sitting on. But it's only two things we can do actually. One, I'm gonna start shooting these damn cats. Two, gotta keep a dog outside. So I'm gonna have to train thinking the pit bulls they're the least aggressive towards animals. Other dogs and people, they'll bite 100%. Oh, there goes the other duck. She's sitting on the nest back there. So we ain't gonna stress her out. But yeah, man. Now the pit bulls do pretty, pretty good, actually, with all other animals besides other dogs. So I'm thinking we start them with a muzzle. Uh, just get them used to being out here with animals and then they go from there. They know Rafa, so they, they both stopped attacking her or like trying to chase her. And so now we just gotta make sure they keep that ugh towards other cats. Know how to differentiate because they definitely can. They're dogs, they're very smart. It's just about training them. And so let's start working on that. Cause I fucking hate losing animals, especially a damn chicken, like bro. Chickens are so cool. Rest in peace. At least is gonna be so sad. She's gonna wanna kill all cats. Like I've been saying. I actually realized I didn't show y'all Tank. Our Lord and Savior of the Wildlife Refuge. Just kidding, that's Jesus Christ. But we done had Tank since before we had, I think, Hector. And I know for sure Big Didi was a little, little puppy. So I think we had Tank. Oh, fuck. We had Tank before we had Schmidt and Rico for sure. He back there chilling. Why you got all that space, boy? Yeah, coolest tortoise ever. So caught a tortoise. This is how they're supposed to be outside. And keep them things in your house to destroy your walls or destroy your doors or destroy your bed frames. Um, all that shit just break everything. It's so destructive. They want to get out. They want to get out. They want to get out. And then when they're out, it's not good enough. They want to roam. They're like fucking tanks. Literally. Now I gotta remember I got some chicken frying, but I got Kane out here. Unicorn escapes. So he's a good, thick, strong goat. He could he a little test worthy. Kane ain't gonna bite him. He just get excited. Come on, Kane. Are oh, you still peeing? He did pretty good past the donkey. I tried to get that too. Good boy. What's up, Unicorn? This would be a good test right here. Cause he come up to me. Unicorn's a good goat. And then Kane's a pretty good dog. Come here, Kane. Come on. He's still peeing. He got a lot of pee in him, I guess. But the unicorn's a real good goat. He shouldn't even be out here, because I want all this grass to grow more, but one little goat will hurt him, believe it or not. We're going to wait for Kane to come on. Kane got work to do. We're going to go down and check the property. Kane, come on, man. You tweaking, bro. Man, you lucky. I got to pee, too. Ah, 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 ah. See you tripping. Hey, hey, no. No chasing. No. Bad, bad, bad. Come here. Come here, boy. Come here. Oh, see, he fell. He fell. Come here. He's too excited. See, see, you do gotta let him get that energy out. As long as you, come here. Come here. Come here. Hey, stay. Come here, boy. Don't be chasing that damn goat. Come on. We got stuff to do. Come on. Come on. Get him. Good boy. Get him. Come on. Go get him. Good boy. Nothing. Good boy, Kane. Good boy. So now that we're away from the goat, sitting there by the Kane, you only got one focus. And it's whatever's out here. I'm telling him, go get him. I done taught him that since a little boy. So anything out here, he gonna go get it. And basically, I want him to differentiate it. He does pretty good, because he don't know. Go get the goats now when I say that. He'll go past them and look for other stuff. But he didn't just came outside, so he had to get his energy out first. So he changed you in the corner a little bit. But I'm gonna keep posting good the Good boy, Kane. Good boy, Kane. Where we going? 
Good boy. Nothing. Nothing. Nope. Nope. We all good, Dad. You're gonna see these bulls. Go. Go and get them, Kane. Get them. Get them, Kane. Nothing. Alright, we're gonna have to head back. Oh, it's a rabbit down there. I don't want him to chase that. Come on, boy. Let's go. Come and on. We had him back. He did pretty good. Checked out the whole property with him. He ain't find nothing. He go to ways that I don't feel like going. He smells stuff I can't smell. He sees stuff I definitely can't see. So he did good. Come on, man. We're going to go back up to the top. Man, he listen real good. Every time I say, come on, he's gone. 